Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer, Video Copilot, and in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to actually animate to this score that we just composed. That's John Williams style. Now, let's create a new composition, and we'll make it 15 seconds long. Take our score, drag it out, Alt Home, make sure that's lined up. Hold LL. Now we can see our beautiful score. And I want to point something out here, and that is, you know the reference video from the previous tutorial, we had the low quality text. That actually might be something you want to render out as well. So you can see a visual representation of your edits, that you know, the decisions that you made at that time. Doesn't mean that you're locked into it, but it is helpful. Now, likewise, say you want to add some audio hits. You want to, instead of have one title between here and here, you want to have two titles and you need a transitional sound. Well, you can go into iTunes, bring in another sound, and use it temporarily in this project. Then go back into your previous project and actually implement that into the final score. So, either way you do it, don't worry, there's always a way back. You know, you're not stuck by any means. So, let's take a look at our score. Good stuff. Now let's go ahead and start animating. Let's take our ice picture. And this is just to give us a nice little background. It's a huge picture. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And that's nice. Now I'm going to take the text tool and we're going to type. And we're going to type introducing. And if we bring up the text options, we can scale this up a little bit. And we can also take our ice and fade it out or darken it with some curves. And I'll just bring this down a little bit. Looks pretty cool. And we'll give a drop shadow to our introducing perspective. Drop shadow. And maybe a ramp. Generate ramp. And we'll put that before the drop shadow. And we'll just uh, bring these closer together. Make this kind of a grayish blue and a white. And we'll add a little bit of a glow, stylized glow. And we'll bring the threshold up so that it only glows on the top of the text. And I'll bring the intensity down. I don't mean to be whispering, I'm just, I'm just excited. So, okay, so we have introducing. Now, let's animate this to our score. So, it comes in right here. So, I'm going to take the introducing, and we're going to line that up with our edit so that it hits right at that point. Then we're going to go down to the text options. And what I want to do is I want to have this thing fly in. So, what we'll do is we'll hit scale, turn the keyframe on, move it over just a couple of clicks, and then scale this up. Now we actually probably want to put our anchor point right in the middle of the D so that the camera flies through it, essentially. And so we scale from 100%. Well, we start at like a bunch. And if you hold shift down, you can actually increase these values a little bit quicker. So this thing flies on here. Now, a linear uh, scale is not going to happen. It's not enough data here. So let's select the two keyframes, right click, keyframe assistance, and you may not see it, but it's exponential scale. Now, here's the thing. It only is available with the professional version of After Effects. So if you don't have it, ooh gonna have to do it by hand or something. Um, and I'm gonna turn on the motion blur. So we get this big boom, right? Let's go ahead and preview this and see what we have. All right, can even speed that up a little bit. If we uh, hold Alt with all the keyframes selected, we can make it pretty quick. And we can time that up, line that up to the beat here. Let's play it again. 
All right, cool. So now introducing stays up for a couple of clicks and ends about right here. Now, let's give it a little bit of life while it's sitting there. So let's go down to the text options and we'll choose animate tracking. And what we'll do is turn the stopwatch on for the tracking amount. And we'll move forward and increase it just a little bit. So what happens is it hits on and then kind of just spaces out. Kind of a cool little effect. Then we have our big product launch. And the cool thing is this. Watch, we duplicate this and use it again. You know? We'll call this, uh, what's our product? Roller blades. It's like something brand new, never been seen before, right? And uh, let's let's hear the audio. And then we get a nice hit about here. Now let's go in here and let's scale it from 100% up rather quickly a lot. And again, select the keyframes, right click, choose exponential scale. And that way it flies out, out of the screen there and looks pretty good. Now we have our nice build up here. So let's take this text, bring it, bring it here. And uh, let's just do like a little, uh, little breakdown. So it says rollerblades. We'll, then we'll cut it off and then we'll duplicate it. Control D and uh, we'll add another instance so that this one kind of overlaps it just a little bit. And we'll duplicate it again and again and um, one more time for good measure. <laughs> At this very last big hit, we'll duplicate it. So then we can change, and then we can write something else. So rollerblades, and we can write they're fast, um, quick, Lee, nice. Velcro. Some of them have the Velcro. Some of them have the uh, the snap locks, but uh, you know whatever. And um, futuristic, amazing. And we'll make this one last a little bit longer, and then we kind of have a nice smooth fade out. So we'll add a nice uh, opacity fade out. Now, you get the idea. Now, I bet if you incorporated some of the free tutorials on Video Copilot, along with some great tutorials on Riot Gear, you could create, say, some more compelling graphics. But let's take a look. Now, it may not win you an award, but I definitely think it's got some potential here. <laughs> okay, so the other cool things you can do is add flashes of light um, to make it seem like these things are more impactful. Um, and, uh, you know, the idea is to basically go in there and make the graphics look like what you're hearing so that when you see something, you know, fizzle off and fly by really quick, make it look like that. You know, add some extra layers, make it, you know, just do crazy things. You know, that's what After Effects is for. Um, you know, it's interesting how great sound can make very simple titles interesting. You know, even if we took this ice off, you know, it still looks pretty interesting. So, 
anyway, I hope you guys can see the possibility of being able to incorporate these effects. And, um, you know, feel free to take some of the pre-made scores and play around with After Effects. They are 100% royalty-free. Use them in your productions. Make money off them. Don't sell them as, you know, audio collections. Can't do that. But you can use them in your films, and your productions, motion graphics, your reel, um, all that stuff. Um, one more quick note. Here I am in Vegas Video 4.0. This is actually my original project file for the music score behind the designer sound effects promo. So as you can see, there are quite a number of layers. And, uh, you know, you can see different things like beats, swishes, buildups of some of the textures, large hits. See these kind of fade out. We have swishes that kind of come right before big hits. There's multiple layers of hits on top of each other so that they're larger and they sound, you know, bigger. Glass sounds. These hits right here are like the additional hits to make it harder. Um, so the idea is just to have extra things mixed in together so that you get this great sound. Like just the sound of this shutting off. There's a laser sound and one of the power down sounds. So just layering is definitely the key and you know slowly fading things in to create sort of interesting uh, effects. So this is the project. And like I said, this is a great application to work with. Um, you bring sounds in. Um, working with them is, is a breeze. You can simply fade them out with one click like this. You can extend them, cut them. You can pan them left to right so that the sound comes out of the left speaker or the right speaker. You know, you have all the control over the tracks, muting them, um, soloing them over other tracks. Just a really, really good uh, application that does include all the video. So if I come in here, bring up my video preview, you can actually see what you're working with. So whether you're working with a preliminary edit um, or you're remixing the very final production, you know, adding in those final little sounds before you render the audio out again. Um, you know, using a dedicated editing program for audio is definitely has its benefits. So anyway, hope you found this tutorial uh, insightful and helpful. My name is Andrew Kramer, and we'll see you next time.